When you give a gift, do you ever secretly hope for an epic reaction of excitement and joy? And on that list of things that might get that kind of reaction, do you ever think, books, of course, you might not, but our holiday gift guide is full of them. Books that will get an epic reaction of joy, won't be old news by New Year's Day, but also won't become an addiction that turns them into a monster. Let's take a look at the top gifts that will make them lose their minds and grow their minds. The baby's very first noisy books are what we call talk about books. Talking about the things on the pages, or we have the sounds books where the buttons to press are sensors in the pages. You know when you're making animal sounds with your kiddo and they're like, Sound of germans. And you're like, I don't, I'm not sure. Now you know, if you have a toddler in your life, you gotta get them a busy book. Now in each of these, there's a story to read, four different tracks, and a pullback toy that will go flying around on every track. Busy Helicopter is my personal favorite because he's traveling around rescuing different people and then taking them to the hospital. Our number one bestseller, All Better. The animals in this story all get injured and the kiddos have to clean it, kiss it, put a bandage on it, all better. And we have several others like it. Kisses, Cuddles, and Goodnight, where they match up the right lovey as they drift off to sleep. And Little Bear Needs Glasses. And if you do have a dog or a cat or grimy children, don't worry because if these get dirty, you can just rinse them off with cold water, lay them out to dry, and they're like new, perfectly sticky. Similar to our busy books, except there's a winding mechanism on these toys. These books also have a story to read, several tracks to use, and a lot more text and information to explore. We have puzzles all the way up from nine pieces to 300 pieces. And these aren't just any puzzles. These come with their very own book. I'm gonna give you a pro tip because if you're watching your kid do a puzzle, it's really hard not to be like, oh, this piece goes right there, right? So here's what you do. You have to let their minds grow and it's very frustrating, okay? But just trust me, your kid's gonna be smarter. You, you kind of like put these next to each other and you kind of go, huh, there's a tiger eye on this piece and there's a tiger eye on this piece. Interesting. They figure it out, they totally do. If you have a kiddo who's just starting to learn to read or is about to learn to read, the My First Reading Library. It starts with books like this. These books are full color on the inside. The parent reads the section at the top and then the child gets to read the part at the bottom. There's even puzzles at the end for them to check their reading comprehension. They work their way through the whole set and finally get to books at about this level. Make it a gift. Wrap up the My First Reading Library. This is a great way to send the message and start them off knowing that reading is a gift. It's not a chore. Sticker books, these will not only be really fun to open on Christmas morning, but they'll keep them busy during the holidays when grown-ups are having grown-up chit-chat and maybe they're traveling from place to place. Check out the fold and fly books. Planes, birds, spaceships. Each one comes with 100 tear-out sheets to make different models and easy to follow instructions on how to make each one. Fingerprint activities. There are step-by-step -step instructions on each page. They'll press their fingertip onto the ink pad and then onto the paper. One of my favorite gifts to give is a shine -a light book paired with a flashlight. If you don't know about our shine -a light books, there's a hidden image in some of the pages. These are nonfiction books, so they're learning facts and they're using their hands and they get to be part of the book in an interactive way. Have you ever read that book, Bringing Up Bebe, about French parenting? I read it before I became a parent when I thought I wanted parental advice. But one of the great things about that book is that it talks about how the French people have their kids in the kitchen cooking alongside them and how they use that as an opportunity to spend quality time together and teach them things. Start to Cook is going to be the gift that keeps on giving. Not only are you gonna be able to spend some quality time in the kitchen with your kid, but they're gonna start cooking for you and that's gonna be nice. Beauty comes from within, but in the case of the Illustrated series, it's also on the outside because these books are absolutely beautiful to have on the shelf. The stories inside are enchanting. My friend Katie said this about them. This is our family's most read series ever. We began reading them aloud when they were three and now at 14, I still see my kids picking them up and reading them themselves. These are the kind of stories that Sarah McKenzie talks about in her book, The Read Aloud Family. Those stories that bind a family together. Art Spiegelman said that comics are a gateway drug to literacy. And much like comics, our graphic novels will draw in your reluctant readers and steer them to even more books in the future. When you start to get up into middle school and high school, it's cool to know stuff. They might not admit it, but it's cool to be smart.
It's cool to know stuff other people don't know. They could be playing Fortnite and say, hey man, did you know the first two player computer game was tennis? Or they'll find out that the best way to learn is actually to sleep. So they'll defend sleeping in on Saturday instead of mowing the lawn. That could be bad. If you have an artist in the family, pair some coloring pencils and some nice paper with one of our drawing books. Lots of things to draw is an advanced step-by-step -step with tons of things that they can draw and different techniques that they can learn. Or for the really advanced artists drawing cartoons, drawing faces, and drawing animals. We also have some really fun origami. A book is a gift you can open again and again. You can't go wrong with any of the books on our holiday gift guide, but if you're looking for something in particular or you have a kiddo with specific needs and interests, ask your consultant. She's like Mrs. Minty in our book, The Missing Bookshop. She can recommend the perfect book every time. Happy gift giving!